thought, I, as I said, I thought I would, I thought I would tell you a story. The story involves uh, a trip. I've told this story many times uh, all over the world, and everywhere I've told it, I have blamed a different airline. <laughs> Out of necessity, you see, because you have to make uh, the, the material relevant, the story relevant to the audience in front of you. So every, I've told it in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, America, I have blamed every airline under the sun. Uh, I've even blamed Crab Air. <laughs> I've, I've even blamed the RAF. <laughs> and, but the story, the true story happened on a flight to Dublin some years ago with an airline that I can't name for legal reasons, but which, for the purposes of giving them a name, we will call Brian Air. <laughs> uh, it's uh, thinly veiled, I admit. <laughs> I'm Welsh, I was going abroad. I was going to Dublin. I, have you ever been abroad? But I was excited, I bought shorts. <laughs> T-shirts, sunglasses, they don't even sell them in Wales. I had to go to Bristol to buy them. I was excited about going abroad and then I bought myself a brand new suitcase. One of the posh ones with the wheels and the handle and then I flew to Dublin with Brian Radier. <laughs> and I will show you what I found when I arrived in Dublin airport just a few hours later. <laughs> You can see where some hilarious Brian A baggage handlers put a heavy label on that look. <laughs> Bend your knees is the advice to anybody picking that up. <laughs> Assisted lift may be required, it says. <laughs> I'm not gonna, listen, I'm not an idiot. The flight was about 9.99. <laughs> I wasn't expecting miracles, and if I'm completely honest with you, the first three times this went round the baggage carousel, I laughed. <laughs> Everybody laughed the first three times. It was the, the other passengers, the crew, everybody was having a great time, and then one by one they pissed off. <laughs> it was just me and this. <laughs> I took this to the I took this to the desk. <laughs> I will sort this out, we'll soon sort this out. I didn't know what I was up against. There's a girl on the desk looks at me, no hint of irony. She says, What seems to be the problem? <laughs> I said, mainly it's about my luggage. She said, is that not it? I said, this is some of it. Don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled to get this back. The thing is, I'm here for a month. I'm pretty sure I packed more than this. She had the nerve to ask me those questions. They ask you, I've heard these questions all over the world. They're normally perfectly sensible questions, but there was no need for it. She said, could anybody have interfered with it? <laughs> and so we probably shouldn't rule that out. <laughs> she said, have you left it unattended at any point? I said, I suppose I must have, yes. <laughs> I'm not the most observant person in the world, but if this had happened while I was wheeling it through Dublin Airport, I, I think even I'd have noticed. Surely it would have gone very light very quickly. So did you pack it yourself? I thought, why, what are you suggesting? You think my mum packed for me and thought this is all I'd need? <laughs> she said, we'll do a report, mister. We'll do an official Brian A. We'll soon have your luggage back, don't you worry. We'll do an official report. I thought, good, do your report. This is progress. We'll get it. It was all going quite well until about question three or four. She, she took my name, she took my address. Uh, and then she said, does your luggage have any distinguishing features, Mr. Gilbert? <laughs> Got one of them long black handles, if that's any use. <laughs> and she wrote that down. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian in Ireland, and they? they all think they're so bloody hilarious. Do we have any Irish people in tonight? Hey. Yeah, you all think you're hilarious. The taxi drivers, they're the worst, aren't they? Because I, I walked from, from the, what do you call it? The airport. <laughs> To the taxi rank outside. I said, normal three or four taxis there. And bear in mind, when I walked out with this, I didn't have a five minute story to tell. I just had 22 kilograms of missing shit. <laughs> I wasn't looking too happy, you know, but the taxi driver saw his eyes lit up. <laughs> so predictable. You could see what he was going to do. Practically leapt out of his cab. He stormed round to the back. You could see exactly what he was going to do. Yeah, pops open the boot, a little shit. <laughs> 
Irish wit, he says, do you want a hand with that? I said, no, thank you, I think I can manage. I said, if you really want to help, you can take the trolley back. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been absolutely lovely. Thank you very, very much for supporting me. Each and every one of you, I thank you so, so much. You've been wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed myself. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you.